Did you know that every year the world consumes over 6.3 million tons of evaporated and condensed milk, making it a staple in kitchens across the globe? It's a process that blends history, science, and advanced technology, all to create a product that once saved soldiers on the battlefield and now fuels a $7.66 billion industry. From dairy farms with high-tech milking machines to massive factories refining every drop, the journey is fascinating. But what really goes on behind the scenes to make this creamy staple last for years without refrigeration? Stick around here at the Process World to find out. You see, milk used to spoil fast, making it unreliable before refrigeration came along. That changed in 1856 when Gal Borden invented condensed milk, a thick, creamy version that could last up to a year. His breakthrough wasn't just about convenience, it was about survival. After witnessing children suffer from drinking contaminated milk on a ship, he became determined to find a safer way to preserve it. His invention took off during the American Civil War, where soldiers relied on it for nutrition in battle. What started as a solution for long-term storage quickly became a household favorite, finding its way into desserts, coffee, and recipes worldwide. So how does it all work? Well, let's step inside the world of condensed milk production and see the journey unfold. Before we get into that, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this one. Now, moving on. Milk for condensed milk production begins on dairy farms, where millions of cows produce fresh milk daily. In states like California and the U.S., large farms house up to 8,000 cows, with advanced milking machines handling up to 100 cows per hour, a huge leap from traditional hand milking. These farms follow strict routines, milking cows twice a day for 305 days a year, ensuring a steady supply. Each cow consumes 80 gallons of water and 100 pounds of nutrient-rich feed daily, making them three times more productive from cows 50 years ago. Once the milk is extracted, it's quickly cooled to three to four degrees Celsius and stored in refrigerated tanks to keep it fresh. Because milk spoils easily, time is crucial. Within six hours, it's loaded onto tanker trucks, each carrying over 5,000 gallons, and transported to massive factories operating 24-7. Some of these facilities, like Nestle's plant in California, process over 420,000 gallons of milk daily. But before it can be used, every batch undergoes strict quality testing to ensure it meets safety standards, with checks for fat content, salt levels, and antibiotics. Given daily milk flow into the factory, accuracy and speed are absolutely vital. Highly skilled experts examine the milk within minutes using cutting-edge lab tools. Should the milk satisfy all quality criteria, it advances the process. It is reverted should it fail, making a product that millions of people worldwide depend on calls for no space for mistakes. Once the milk gets the green light, it's time to start its transformation into thick, creamy condensed milk. The next step? Separating the milk's key components to get the perfect balance for the final product. At this stage, the raw milk still contains fat, proteins, and water all mixed together. These ingredients must be separated if one wants the correct ratio for condensed milk. A centrifuge separator then becomes really important. This machine is powerful. It can process 5,800 gallons of milk per hour, spinning at 7,000 revolutions per minute. The lighter cream gathers at the center, while the force generated by this fast spinning pushes the heavier skim milk outward. This mechanism guarantees correct division of every drop of milk by working with amazing precision. At the end of the separation, the factory is left with two key components. Skim milk, which contains less than 1% fat, moves to the outer edges of the centrifuge. Cream, which has a fat content of around 20%, remains at the center. For condensed milk, the focus is on skim milk. It forms the base of the final product, while the cream is either used for other dairy products or adjusted to achieve the right consistency for different types of condensed milk. With the milk now divided into key parts, the next step is one of the most important in the process, pasteurization. This process ensures that the milk is safe to consume and lasts longer without spoiling. 
Without it, bacteria would thrive, making the milk unsafe and shortening its shelf life. The process starts by cooling the milk down to 3 degrees Celsius. Then it moves into a heat exchanger where it's rapidly heated to 72 degrees Celsius. This sudden increase in temperature is enough to kill harmful bacteria without affecting the milk's taste or nutritional value. To complete the process, the milk is held at this temperature for exactly 15.5 seconds before being quickly cooled back down to 3 degrees Celsius, all in under 40 seconds. This technique dates back to 1862, when Louis Pasteur discovered that heating liquids could prevent spoilage. His initial work was focused on wine, but the method was later applied to milk, changing the dairy industry forever. Thanks to pasteurization, milk can be stored safely without the risk of contamination. Now that the milk is pasteurized and safe, it's time to turn it into the rich, creamy, condensed milk that ends up in kitchens worldwide. This happens in two key steps, sweetening and evaporation. The first step is adding sugar. It's not just for taste. Sugar acts as a natural preservative, preventing bacteria from growing. This is what allows condensed milk to stay fresh for months or even years without refrigeration. The sugar is carefully measured and mixed in to create the perfect balance of sweetness and consistency. Once the sugar is fully dissolved, the milk moves into large evaporators. These machines use heat and pressure to remove about 60% of the water content, making the milk thicker and more concentrated. Inside the evaporator, the milk flows through stainless steel tubes, which are surrounded by steam. This setup, known as a calandria system, ensures that the water evaporates evenly without affecting the milk's flavor or quality. As the water is removed, the remaining protein, sugars, and fats become more concentrated, giving condensed milk its signature thick texture and rich taste. Every part of this process is controlled with precision to ensure consistency in every batch. With the water content reduced and the texture perfected, the next step is homogenization, the final transformation. This process ensures that every can of condensed milk has the same smooth, creamy texture without any separation over time. Homogenization works by breaking down fat molecules into tiny uniform particles. Without this step, the fat in the milk could rise to the top, creating an uneven texture. By using high-pressure equipment, the milk is forced through narrow passages, evenly distributing the fat throughout the mixture. This process doesn't change the taste, but improves the stability of the condensed milk, ensuring that it stays rich and consistent from the moment it's made to the time it's opened. With the texture perfected, the condensed milk is now ready for packaging and sterilization, where it's sealed and prepared for long-term storage. Now, before the condensed milk is poured into containers, each can or package is sterilized. This ensures that no bacteria or unwanted particles interfere with the product's freshness. High-powered machines clean and sanitize every container using heat and steam, making them completely safe for filling. Once sterilized, the packaging machines step in. These machines work with incredible precision, filling each can with the exact amount of condensed milk. Every container is then hermetically sealed, meaning it's airtight, locking in the freshness and preventing any external contaminants from getting inside. To add an extra layer of protection, the sealed cans go through a final sterilization process. They are placed in autoclaves, which use high-pressure steam to kill any remaining microorganisms. This step guarantees that the condensed milk inside remains safe for months or even years without refrigeration. From start to finish, every part of the process is designed for quality and consistency. What began as fresh milk on dairy farms is now a thick, sweet product that's ready to be shipped to stores and homes around the world. We've uncovered the journey of condensed milk, from fresh dairy to the thick, sweet staple found in kitchens worldwide. But here's something to think about. If condensed milk can last for years without refrigeration, could future food innovations create dairy products that stay fresh indefinitely? What would that mean for the way we store and consume food?